the Queensland Fertility Group has some of the highest success rates in fertility treatment in the world. In fact, in partnership with IVF Australia and Melbourne IVF, we can be credited for the largest number of IVF births in Australia. The cause of the infertility problem in the first place is in fact the main determinant of success. So there are a number of factors that we look at and each one of those needs to be dissected out when we're doing our consultation and when we're doing our assessments. Amongst these are the quality of the egg and one of the great determinants here is the age and the quality of the sperm and then finally the pelvic environment. Artificial or intrauterine insemination is a more natural way of achieving a pregnancy. In this procedure, the ovaries may be stimulated to produce the best possible egg, and at the right time then, we introduce this prepared sperm directly into the womb or into the uterus. In a procedure that's very much like a pap smear, no anaesthetic is involved in this. It's a very straightforward procedure. The maximum success rate from this is around 14%, but it depends on there being an appropriate pelvic environment and the sperm being in good enough quality. Most pregnancies that arise from this will arise in the first four cycles of treatment. IVF or in vitro fertilization is a procedure where we stimulate the ovaries to produce a perfect number of eggs. When the time is right, we then collect those eggs with a small procedure that may involve a small anaesthetic. The partner then provides a sperm sample and the eggs are then fertilized outside of the body. These then grow for a number of days and are then replaced inside of the womb in a procedure that's very much like a pap smear. Pregnancy then develops from there on naturally within the body of the woman. We expect the success rate of this to be over 40% in the younger patient groups under the age of 35. IVF is an excellent treatment and it's often used in patients who have failed other therapy. However, there are a number of situations where in fact it is the most appropriate first line treatment. Intracytoplasmic sperm injection or ICSI is in fact a form of IVF. But in this procedure, a scientist picks one sperm and injects it directly into one egg. This is used particularly when there are problems with the sperm and the success rate of this is excellent and it's comparable to our IVF success rates. It is a technically more demanding procedure, but in fact, the success rates are the same. The best way to understand your success rates from fertility treatment really depend on seeing a specialist at the Queensland Fertility Group. Over there, we will assess all of the factors that determine your success, including the egg quality, age, sperm quality, and the pelvic environment. These are the main determinants of the success rate from your fertility treatment. Our aim at the Queensland Fertility Group is to allow you to conceive as naturally as possible in the most appropriate time frame. Now that may mean medical therapy, that may involve surgery, or it may mean going directly to IVF. The most appropriate choice will be made based on your assessment at that time. In the end, it's all about providing choices. <laughs>